food and they just don't eat it but like they're so fucking picky because i feed them the same brand all the time because i've tried a different brand they don't like a different brand but this one is thin slices and gravy they like the loaf they don't like the thin slices but this is all they have so this is what we're working with you have to eat it like i don't know what to tell you you have to eat it come on and you just leave it in your bowl and you waste it. You just literally just, you like, you just like the fact that I'm putting stuff in a bowl for you, huh? Anyway, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm vlogging. I just went to this place called Kismet Bagels and I picked up a bagel. I also ordered groceries online, but they're not going to get here for a while. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go stop and eat at this place. I've also been like... Like, I've also been trying to go here and try it out, but I keep forgetting about it, and then I never end up going. But I got the spicy one, which I'm gonna have to come and have because it's literally falling apart. But it's scrambled eggs, bacon, jalapenos, and like spicy everything. Spicy everything, cream cheese. This morning I went and grabbed some coffee. I went to the car wash. I was in Jersey to go do some of my work. And then, okay, I think this is the right way to do it because it's like there's just no way that I'm eating this outside of paper. <laughs> um, and then I just came here to grab some food. I was I could have went grocery shopping right there, but I was like, there's just too many things that I have to buy right now and carry in, and I just knew that I wasn't gonna wanna do that. But this is what the bagel looks like. I'm excited to try it. The cream cheese already tastes good. I went to Target also and just picked up a few cleaning supplies. I picked up some paper towels, toilet paper, trash bags, lint rollers, because I literally live off of these. I need to like put one like in my car, one for here, and just like one to like bring around with me. Um, and then some more Swiffer jets because I cleaned my whole house yesterday and I ran out, so I had to get more. But I'm gonna eat this, chill, and then I have to go to my training appointment. All of my groceries got here, so I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got so I can put it all away. And then I have to go to my training appointment. So the first thing I got is like this huge thing of water which you guys just watched me carry in so go through everything so i got some tomatoes fine ripe tomatoes we're gonna empty those out um some cabbage because i'm gonna make stuffed cabbage i got a shallot got a red onion, which I actually meant to not need this because I have one in the fridge. I got two cucumbers, organic cucumbers. And then I got some arugula. I haven't ordered groceries online in so long. This is crazy. Remember I used to complain about it all the time because it would always mess up my order. Then I got 
some sourdough bread because I'm going to be making sandwiches for lunch and whatnot. I got these sea salt green bean chips because I wanted like something to snack on that was healthy and these sounded good. I was shopping hungry, okay? We already, we already established that's just like a bad idea. I got some goldfish. Can't go wrong. Goldfish. I got some baby potatoes. I got some QP mayo, because I ran out, and I like this mayonnaise better than the other mayonnaise, like regular mayonnaise. I got yellow mustard, don't have any, and I want to make tuna salad sandwiches. Then I got some pickled red onions, because these sounded good, and I, again, I was shopping hungry. <laughs> I felt like they would be good on the tuna, so we're going to try, and if not, I'll add them to another sandwich. Then I got these pickles because these are so good. Um, they're the like corn nichons, little mini ones like that, they're so good. Um, then I got some pickled jalapenos for the uh, tuna. I got calamala olives for salads that I'm gonna be making. I got some more minced garlic, ran out of that. I got some fig spread because I'm gonna be making these turkey and brie sandwiches with fig spread. I saw it on TikTok and it sounded really good. Then I got some crushed San Marzano tomatoes to make the sauce for the stuffed cabbage. And the last bag is the meat. So we have Feta cheese for the salads that I'm gonna be making. Cream cheese. Brie cheese. Um, these bagels, Alvarado bagels. These are so good because they have like a lot of protein in them. So I got cinnamon raisin. I got half a pound of organic roasted turkey sandwiches. I got some ground beef, lean ground beef. 93.7 and I got some thin cut chicken breasts because this week I actually am going to make the chicken cutlets but that is everything that I got I'm gonna put this all away and then I'm gonna go get ready to go to my training appointment these no these are fucking disgusting I like green beans like I love green beans I love crispy green beans these don't taste like fucking green beans. These are horrible. Don't get them.
now I am gonna make a protein smoothie. I've mentioned this like a hundred times, but this is the protein that I'm using. It's just banana bread flavored. And it's like mass gainer, but not as many calories. So there's like 500 calories. So there's more than like regular protein, but mass gainer has like 800 something calories. I don't know. I just like to use this one. I've just been using this one because I've been trying to not really gain weight, but like just like keep my muscle mass. And I feel like I don't eat enough. So I've been going and using this, but I've been on the phone with my credit card company for like the past hour and then also this hotel because um, my friend and I booked a trip last night to Hawaii. So my friend and I didn't really have a lot of choices in where we could go because because my friend doesn't have his travel documents yet so we kind of have to stay in the US. Well. We do have to stay in the US, but we wanted to go somewhere warm. So, uh, we didn't want to go to Miami because we were like there all the time. And then we were like, all right, so basically we pretty much have like Hawaii and Puerto Rico as like a beach other than like other places in Florida. So then we were like, okay, well there was just a hurricane in Puerto Rico. So there's definitely no way that like any of that's gonna be available. So we we're like, all right, we're kind of just stuck with Hawaii. I mean, Hawaii, not stuck with Hawaii, like, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place, but it wouldn't, it wasn't, like, our first choice, but we were, like, you know what, like, I've always wanted to go to Hawaii, I've always wanted to see it, it looks so beautiful, and just, like, it looks like paradise, but, like, honestly, like, we were, so we booked everything, and then we were, like, alright, now let's, like, look for things to do, we were looking for things to do, and honestly, like, it just didn't, it just didn't look that fun as like a tourist. I mean, to live there, I'm like, it literally looks amazing to live there. Like you have so much to do, like hiking, like so many things to do outside and like during the day, but there wasn't much of like a nightlife and maybe there is and it just doesn't show up. Like correct me if I'm wrong, but we just like kept looking for things and it kind of seemed like we were just kind of trying to choose stuff just to choose it because we already booked it. So we just came to the conclusion like, fuck that, we're just gonna cancel it, let's just go to Puerto Rico. Cause I read somewhere that um, they still are wanting people to come, like visitors to come and still like go with their trips because um, San Juan's airport is open and like a lot of that area like didn't get destroyed. So we're like, all right, is that sensitive? Go. So then we're like, okay, we're gonna go to Puerto Rico, which also like this trip isn't for like another three weeks. So it's not like we're going tomorrow. So we're like, all right, fuck, let's just go. Let's just plan to Hawaii, let's cancel it. So I go to cancel it and they tell me that the hotel is non-refundable. And I'm like, I booked this less than 24 hours ago. How are you gonna tell me that a $1,400 total package like for a hotel is non-refundable? When I didn't even, I, we're three weeks out. <laughs> like, it's not like it's next week. I could understand that, but we're three weeks out. And it wasn't even 24 hours yet. So I was like, all right, to my credit card company. I was like, all right, I'm going to try to call them. I'm just going to see what I can do to work out with them. And whatever. Long story short, they ended up canceling it for me. And thank God. Thankfully, they were so sweet about it, honestly. Um, and they waived that for me. So that's great. So we canceled the whole trip. And now we're gonna book to Puerto Rico. So, I've been doing that for like the past hour when I got back because I was like, let me just like get this done and over with because honestly, like Hawaii seems great for like maybe like two, three days. And like, if you're not really like someone that goes out at night or like is cool with like just chill little bars and like casual bars, I feel like it's more for you. But if you're looking for like, Like, I'm not looking for a party. Like, I don't really care that much about a party. I just want, like, good vibes all around, like, party vibes, I guess. Like, you know, on the beach, like, I want to see some entertainment when I'm on the beach. Like, I want to, I, I just want to, like, have, like, a nice, like, party, like, beach vibe, I guess. And, like, Hawaii is not that. Hawaii is definitely more nature, which I love that. I love stuff about nature. Like, 
in Puerto Rico, we're definitely gonna do we're definitely gonna do like some nature stuff. Like I love hiking, I love doing like ATVs, zip lining, going to see like really cool places and just like beautiful sights and stuff. Like I love that. But Hawaii just seems like it's a place where you just like hike a lot and you go like see like a bunch of views and like the mountains and just like explore. And I would love to do that, but I think for like six days, I think that's a lot. And I think that I would get bored to be honest. So I just decided that I'm not gonna go. <laughs> it's all done. But honestly, if you guys, honestly, if you guys have any like recommendations of like, or like little itineraries that you did in Hawaii, definitely like let me know because it's still like a place that I wanna go see. It's definitely just like a trip that I'm gonna have to plan like more far in advance mm -hmm. and like something that I'm looking more for like sightseeing and whatnot. Good morning. I am about to, I'm about to go to this coffee shop because yesterday I saw this on some girl's story and it's this coffee shop and they have a taro iced latte and I love taro ice cream so this is just something that I have to try like I just have to try it but I have a couple other things that I need to do I think I'm gonna go there and edit a video for a little bit because I have to go do some of the car stuff I have to go do some of the car stuff and that's not until two and it's 11 30 right now and i kind of want to just like be super pr productive today i was gonna go get my license finally but if i'm gonna be honest <laughs> i didn't feel like doing all of my makeup right now so i think i'm gonna go well i didn't feel like doing my makeup all the way right now also oh my god i swear every time i put my camera up here my cats are like i have to climb the tower shake it I didn't feel like doing my makeup right now. No, not even that. I woke up late. If I woke up earlier, I would have been able to get all this shit done. But honestly, again, just the way my schedule is today, driving all the way, the opposite way, like deeper, cause I'm not gonna go in the city. There's no way I'm waiting in the line in the city. I'm gonna go out to the suburbs to a pen dot and go do all of that. But there's no point in me driving 45 minutes that way to drive another hour back to Jersey and then drive back here. So I'm just gonna have to do it eventually. I think I'm gonna do it on um, probably like Friday morning. I feel like that would be good. I feel like that's like perfect time for me because Thursday, I don't know. Not that you give a fuck. So that's why I'm not going today. I also didn't feel like doing all my makeup right now and I woke up late. So I took a melatonin. But I'm gonna pack my bag with my computer and stuff it's so gloomy outside. It's so cold. I'm like tired of this weather. I can't. I just, I'm already ready for summer again. <laughs> no, I can't. I literally hate rainy days. I feel like they just make me like so depressed. Like they literally just bring my energy down so low. But we're going to get through it. We're just going to keep ourselves busy. So I'm going to pack my bag. We're going to go get this coffee and... We're gonna spend the day together. I just got home and I just filmed a try on haul. Well, I have to film the try on part now actually um but i just got done doing the talking portion showing you guys everything that i got that haul will be up before this video so you guys will see it's my white box haul um i'll link it down below for you guys but yeah i am just gonna continue finishing this video up just because i'm kind of beating the lighting right now it's not the best lighting but Honestly, it's not that bad because usually when it's super sunny out, like the lighting just keeps changing. I've been chasing the sun. There is no sun to chase. Um, so I've been like just trying to figure out all of that. Um, but it's just not, honestly, I'm just gonna have to work with what I have this week because I have to get these videos up and running and get them done regardless if it's sunny or not. It just sucks because I like, the videos to have good lighting 
and whatnot. But I'm gonna go try all these on and tire myself out. And then I'm gonna start getting ready. Actually, no, I'm gonna eat and then just start getting ready because I am going to New York City tonight to just go out and chill um, with some friends. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that, get it all done. We're being productive today, guys. I swear I've been changing like five different times in this whole video, but it's because I've been doing the try on. I've been doing a try on haul all day. And honestly, those are so much work. Like they look like they're so easy, which they are. I mean, you're literally just trying on clothes, but it's just like so time consuming. It's not hard. It's just time consuming. It's just so tedious. Just heated myself up some some lunchy lunch. I just made some leftovers, so I have a chicken cutlet that I made yesterday. I have a little Greek village salad that I made with cucumber, tomato, red onion, feta, and olives, and then just some white rice, salt and pepper on it. I have been doing so well. I've been doing so well with eating in and not spending my money, even though this morning I did have some breakfast out. My camera's gonna die. Let me plug this in, see if it still records. Okay, yeah. I've been doing so well with eating in and just like saving my money. I don't wanna speak too soon because it's been a week, but I'm very proud of myself. I have been actually eating my groceries that I bought because I usually just buy groceries and then they all just go bad. So. Very proud of myself. I have been actually eating my food. And I've been saving money because usually I eat out like every single day and I'm spending like $800 a week, maybe four to four to $600 a week on food, which is ridiculous. So I caught myself. I was like, bitch, you are getting out of hand. That is just ridiculous. You're wasting so much money. You're spending like $1,000 plus a month on food. You're out of your mind. Actually, maybe even like two grand a month on food when you should be spending maybe like five, six hundred dollars on groceries and shit. I don't count coffee, but like I was just like, yo, you do not need to be spending that much money on food. So I've been grocery shopping. I've been really good at it. I'm going to eat this, chill, relax, and then I'm going to go get ready to head to New York. Okay, I decided I'm not going to New York anymore. Our plans got canceled just because it was like too much. But I'm going to Buffalo Wild Wings right now. And I am driving like 20 minutes to go get them in Jersey because I have been craving chicken wings since yesterday. I really wanted Wingstop. I saw this girl on TikTok eating the Wingstop fries, which are so good. But unfortunately, the wing stops around me just are not that good. And honestly, like the chicken's usually raw or the sauce is just like pure grease and it's just not good. So I'm just gonna stick with the basics and I'm just gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I know like bar wings are good, but I'm just gonna, I'm feeling the chain. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like the chain wings today. So I'm driving to Jersey to go get these and I'm so excited about it because I just really want chicken wings and I'm bored and this is just how I'm gonna spend my night. So come with me, I do this pretty often. I drive very far for, I drive very far for food and I will always do that. I really don't care. And honestly, I'm excited for the drive because it is raining outside and it's just gonna be a nice, oh wow. My camera's really good at the lighting thing. Anyway, it's raining outside. It's gonna be, well, it's not raining, but it was raining all day. So it's a little overcast right now. Um, so it's gonna be a nice relaxing drive to go get my food and I'm here for it. I wish I still smoked weed because that'd be so relaxing, but I don't because it literally makes me paranoid. So it would defeat the whole purpose, but let's go get the wings because I'm hungry. A cozy little night. I just got 
bag from Buffalo Wild Wings. And I got all of my food. I got, I hope these are crispy. They didn't have an option to make them extra well done, but whatever. I was just like working with what I had. But I got mild or medium, medium, whatever one's hotter. And then french fries. And then of course I got ranch and they literally forgot my fucking vegetables. They forgot the carrots and, and shit. I swear to God, like to go places can never get their shit right. But regardless, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna watch my show and be cozy in my house and chill with myself and Thank you.